Allergies are now commonplace in our society, and depending on their severity, they can, of course, be life-threatening. So it's important to understand a bit about the problem, especially if you're mountaineering, so that you know how to respond appropriately. Anaphylactic shock is the body's extreme reaction to foreign substances. This might be a food product such as peanuts, cherries, or whatever an individual may be allergic to, or an insect bite. The dramatic aspect of anaphylactic shock is that it can happen quickly and be life-threatening for the victim. In addition to the usual allergic reactions, anaphylactic shock typically involves swelling of the skin, redness, itching, and blistering. Some people may also develop furriness of the tongue or break out in a sweat. And anaphylactic shock usually involves a severe allergic reaction, namely difficulty breathing. This means the airways feel severely restricted. Victims begin making wheezing noises and often appear anxious or distressed. This can lead to disorientation or even unconsciousness. If you come across someone who is experiencing great difficulty breathing, the first thing you should do is ask them, have you had this before? Does this happen often? Do you need to take anything for it? Do you have emergency medication with you? The person will probably try to find their medication if they have it with them. This will be obvious from their movements. If they are no longer able to unzip their pockets or backpack, help them. The best approach is to remove the backpack and hold it for them. Much easier than trying to unzip all 10 pockets and search for something not knowing what it looks like. The victim will immediately go for the pocket they need and take out the medication. As soon as they have it in their hand, it may look something like this, like a pen, particularly in the case of anaphylactic shock. Whatever the case, you can then help the person to auto-inject. Generally, the injection goes straight through the outer garments into the thigh. If the victim is shaking too much to do the injection, use your hand to help steady them and inject the medication into the thigh together. Hold it for 10 seconds to ensure all of it goes into the muscle. The victim should improve quite rapidly, and their breathing should become a little easier. However, the sufferer will not fully recover and not be able to continue the tour. Sufferers generally know their own illness very well. You can now make a joint decision. Should you call emergency services immediately or simply find a doctor? If you decide to call emergency services, then make the call, wrap the person up warmly, and ensure they're sitting comfortably. They'll want to sit, because that makes breathing easier. Then stay with them and look after them. One more thing on the subject of medication, and this is very important. As first responders, we are not allowed to administer medication. This includes any emergency medication provided by the victims themselves. What we are allowed to do is offer support and help under guidance. But we cannot simply remove an auto-injector pen from a person's backpack and stick it into their thigh. If there is no improvement, or if the victim's condition has begun to deteriorate, passing from tiredness to sleep and even unconsciousness, be sure to check their breathing. If the victim is still breathing, place him in the stable recovery position. If they've stopped breathing, begin resuscitation immediately. This is the only way to keep the victim alive until the rescue team arrives. With chronic illnesses in particular, it is essential that I talk to my partner beforehand so that I know what medication they need, what medication they have with them, and where I can find it in their backpack so that I can help by getting the medication ready and provide any support necessary. Thank you.